This documentary is about Pepsi, a refreshing drink that cools you off on those hot summer days. History Caleb Bradham from New Bern, North Carolina, invented Pepsi in 1898. He was a pharmacist and wanted to create a healthy and refreshing drink for his customers. Caleb wanted people to continue coming back to his pharmacy, so this drink would be the perfect incentive for them to come back. Originally, the customers named the beverage Brad's Drink, but Caleb renamed it by combining the two main ingredients, pepsin and cola nuts, to come up with the name Pepsi Cola. Cola nuts are generally found in Africa and store caffeine in their chemical makeup. Pepsin is a chemical that helps with digestion, a big advantage for Bradham in 1898 because not many drinks had that benefit. In 1902, Bradham applied at the U.S. Patent Office to trademark Pepsi-Cola and was approved in 1903. Originally, Bradham would only sell Fountain Pepsi, but in 1905, he decided to award franchises to bottle Pepsi, and by 1910, Pepsi was being bottled in 24 states. Pepsi-Cola was very successful when it was first invented and continued to do well until 1923 when Caleb gambled on the commodities market because he thought the price of sugar would increase, and instead the price of sugar fell and Pepsi-Cola went ba bankrupt. A candy company brought Pepsi back in 1931 by building a Pepsi company in Delaware, and the president of the candy company, Charles Guth, reformulated the beverage to his liking. In the beginning, the drink didn't sell very well, so Guth began putting the drink in 12-ounce bottles and continuing to sell it for only 5 cents, and by 1936, Pepsi had made him $2 million. Since Pepsi was growing so well, they decided to try other forms of Pepsi, and in 1964, the same year Pepsi bought Mountain Dew, Diet Pepsi, or Pepsi Light, was introduced to the public. Diet Pepsi is the same as Pepsi, with no sugar or calories, and is made using the artificial sweetener, aspartame. The chemical formula for Pepsi is two hydrogen, one carbon, and three oxygen atoms reacting with two molecules of one hydrogen, one sodium, one carbon, and three oxygen atoms to form two sodium and three carbon dioxide plus two molecules of carbon dioxide plus two molecules of water. More simply stated, carbonic acid and sodium bicarbonate, or baking soda, react to form disodium carbonate carbon dioxide, and water. According to the valence shell electron polar repulsion theory, there are many different p molecular shapes in this formula, including tetrahedral, trigonal, pyramidal, linear, and bent. The total mass of this formula is 169.02 grams. Pepsi's biggest competitor is Coca-Cola. The main reason is because although these two drinks are very similar, Many people notice a big difference between the two and prefer one over the other. Both drinks were initially created for medical purposes, being to aid digestion. Now they are popular soft drinks that compete to be the best. Currently, Pepsi and Coca-Cola's annual revenues are greater than $32 billion, making them both a couple of the world's largest food and beverage companies. The biggest difference between the two is that Coca-Cola was invented in 1886, whereas Pepsi was invented in 1898. Modern day Pepsi is similar to the original Pepsi in taste, but rather than being the original natural Pepsi, most of it is artificial and not healthy like it used to be. Even though this is the case, Pepsi is still a popular drink enjoyed by many people around the globe.